Number 39 from our greatest poker moments. Sam Trickett from Premier League Poker 6. This was the final hand at the final table. Probably a moment you're not looking thrilled to relive. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one. <laughs> I've been needled by my mates for this one a few times now. Probably one of the worst hands I've ever played. <laughs> and yet, there was a lot to it. Yeah, um, it was more like a live tell that I went on. Um, anything, Everything told me to fold, but I just went on a live tell that you know, the pulse going on his neck that I could see, and I just figured that was weak. I think this is one of those, you know, people see this, they don't realize what was all the things that were going on. I think, you know, this had been a 12-hour day already. It was something like, like 3, a, 4 o'clock in the morning. Like a 60-hour week. Yeah, <laughs> it is a 60-hour week. Premier League is so intense. I remember just thinking, if I call now, it's over. <laughs> but um, but yeah. uh, you'd gotten head up, and you were actually... I think you had made a bit of a comeback, and you had gotten to the chip lead, or nearly there. Yeah, I was slight chip leader before this part. You know, I was winning a few pots, running, running okay, playing well, and it was going to be hard for me to lose unless I did something like this. <laughs> now there's only 160,000 in the pot when they get to the river. And then what, what, what happened exactly? Well, I figured he didn't have much, so I bet small to try and induce a raise to start off with, but then he shoved, and uh, well, you don't yeah. see this type of shove very away. often, like. And this is actually a little bit the beauty of Dan Shack in a sense. This is how he does things. He gets these sure. kind of calls. Up yeah, side. I've seen him bluff in this spot. There's Andrew Robo in the 100K in Vegas. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to call. And I didn't really know what to make of this hand. I have no idea what you have. You don't want to speak a word to me, are you? What do you think I think you have? I have no idea. Why didn't you bet, wouldn't you bet hearts on the turn? And you couldn't get that thought out of your mind. I thought if it, because I'd been bashing him up a little bit and winning all the pots, I thought if he had a flush draw, he wouldn't mind. Easy to, fold if I bet you know, more. Just to try and push me off some hands. It's painful to watch back that I, uh, I, I cycled it off. Just. <laughs> How much is in the pot, by the way? Ten times pop. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, he stuck a million into Sorry. a hundred and six, two hundred thousand pot. Put your earmuffs on, mum. <laughs> you know, you've played for much bigger amounts of money before, but you must. This oh, Premier League title that. is quite big, isn't it? Yeah, it was big. Just sort of, had to, it was like essentially a hundred and twenty-five k decision. If, you know, if I won and got it right, I, I won the, the Premier League, and if I, I got it wrong, I, I didn't. Ah, uh, now I should just fold. Small ball, keep small balling. And yet, I knew I should have folded and, and took a different route on winning. But I don't think you've got it. You don't look like you've got it. Well, it's just ten times the pot. <laughs> Is this the first time you've seen it back? Uh, yeah, I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, Paul, this is the longest I've ever took on any decision in my life. Uh, Phil Locke and Antonio Esfandiari and Jennifer, they were all in the com box going crazy. They were sure you were going to Yeah, what I, I should have done. It's obviously a really bad decision. I just had a couple of things that told me, you know, I've seen him bluffing that spot before. I thought he would bet hearts on the turn and I was thinking, why would he shove 1.2 million over a $40,000 bet if he had wanted to get called? And, I just misread the whole situation and he got the better of me here. I mean, it's, it's all right to be wrong sometimes in poker, right? I mean, you know, you, you, you have to be able to make big calls to play at a high level. I mean, yeah, of course, I've made worse calls, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've made worse calls. Um, you know, if I had a two here, I'd, I'd maybe have made the call as well. It was like, I just figured he had complete air or just, you know, just like a queen flush maybe, but. I knew he didn't have the nut flush because he would bet on the turn with like ace high hearts for sure. Uh, so cool. There it is. <laughs> and you know, well, you go you're reach. not surprised, really. Nice shove, Dan. Thank you. You got to go with your read. What? That's how you blow it. <laughs> wow, your neck was Second pulsing like mad and Huge moment though. Look at yeah, him sweating. <laughs> yeah, he was sweating. He was actually sweating. He had a, a neck puzzle, like his neck was pulsing. Too bad. Yeah, it just made me think he was weak, but it's obviously just adrenaline. 
Well, that was your second Premier League, Sam. You made two final tables. Big moment in poker history there. Such a bad call, looking back. <laughs>